Hi, this is Brother Richard, and today we're continuing with our lesson series, Prototokos Mystery. This will be part 413. We want to take a deeper look at life in the beginning of sorrows, the time in which judgment is going to be pronounced on this world and <clears throat> radical change is going to set in therefore thereafter. <clears throat> Scripture teaches with great judgment mm. of the Lord <clears throat> when it comes <clears throat> will come the beginning of sorrows. Jeremiah 25 verse 30 Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread against all the inhabitants of the earth. Now, when it talks about uttering his voice and giving a shout, <clears throat> He's going to be uttering utterances which are judgments focusing on the human race as a whole and focusing on every individual in the human race. You said judgments, plural. Judgments, yes. Why are we hearing judgments within the singular? Because it's not just one thing. Okay. It talks about uttering his voice, mm -hmm. roaring, yes. and giving a shout. Okay. So this indicates different things that are coming forth from him, pronouncements. In that respect, you have a variety of okay. things going to take. When, when he speaks, something's going to happen. Sure. And if he's speaking in a variety of utterances, every single word is going to have yes. a dramatic... Yeah. Right. global effect. <clears throat> Should we understand that this translates into various groups within the human race? Each group receiving their particular judgment. <clears throat> yes. And individuals. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> we see this translated Luke 21 35. <clears throat> This is something that is going to be unprecedented in the human, the human uh, uh, existence, the human conditions. never been experienced before. Never. <clears throat> the judgments, basically, that are falling on the earth have come from uh, YHVH. This is the first time Elohim is going to speak a judgment. <clears throat> Did you just say... All previous judgments are from my okay. YHVH. Right. I thought you were saying this judgment is coming from YHVH. No, the previous judgments are from right. YHVH. They've been regional. Mm -hmm. But this is a global judgment affecting the whole creation, focused on the human race, on the surface of the earth, its activities, <clears throat> its state of existence. It's going to be all inclusive. And we see this reflected in Luke 21, <clears throat> verse 35. As far as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. This is unprecedented. It has never happened before. This is something on the alignment of the fall of Lucifer and its effect. It's going to affect the creation. It's going to affect the people. It's going to affect conditions of life. Every utterance he makes is a <coughs> command for something to take place. It doesn't break down what the utterances are, but it gives you the background and the effect that it's gonna have. <clears throat> it's gonna affect the creation, it's gonna affect <clears throat> life, 
the reality of, the, of existence, and it's going to affect every single individual on the face of the earth. How will it affect nations like giants, Yeti, Bigfoot, so on and so forth, reptilians? How are they affected at this time? You will note the, 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 the focus is on the surface of the earth okay. and the human race. All the other things are peripheral. Fourth Empire, cryptids, all the rest of that. This is coming later. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> now, having done that, we want to take a look at some, touch upon some things that will affect. Scripture teaches <clears throat> many, will, many will die in that day. Jeremiah 25, 33. <clears throat> And the slain of the Lord, and we want to focus on this statement, the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They, the slain of the Lord, shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried, they shall be dung upon the ground. So when he speaks, the judgment that he's speaking <coughs> is going to bring death upon specific humans from one end of the earth to the other. That's why it's called the slain of the Lord. It's speaking about a judgment on um, you can you get some guy body in Russia, <coughs> somebody in Scandinavia, somebody in America. From one end of the earth, conditions are going to take place from that pronouncement that are going to ultimately wind up with that person dying. That's why it's called the slain of the Lord. The death resulted from the judgment that he spoke in Jeremiah 25. Scripture teaches the armies of the world's nations will be cast into hell specific armies of specific terrorist nations be cast in hell. Ezekiel 32 verse 18. <coughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> you made the coffee. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ezekiel <clears throat> 32, verse 18. <clears throat> Son of man, wail for the multitude of Egypt and cast them down. Her and the daughters of the famous nations, the word famous there is mighty. Unto the neither parts of the earth, with them that go down into the pit. This is another aspect of the spoken judgment. He speaks, and you're going to have a judgment come on millions of people around the earth. They're going to die from specific ways. You're going to have included in that judgment. <coughs> The nations <clears throat> that you read in Ezekiel 32. Now, what's interesting? Take a look at what's being said here. The first nation is talk about Asher, is <clears throat> basically spoken of as a group in hell. They went down to hell as a group. So does Elam. They go down to hell as a group. Each one is referred to Meshach. They go down as a group. Egypt goes down as a group. Edom goes down as a group. Why? <clears throat> Up until this point, 
when you have a judgment, there's a, re a resounding clash of people that fighting each other, whatever it is, they go down to hell mixed. <clears throat> Here, everybody, and it gives you detail of where they wind up. They are separated in different locations. Here's Elam, here's Meshach, here's Egypt. How did that happen? It happened because when he speaks his judgment, <coughs> each nation's army, if, he, if he's speaking in Egypt, against Egypt, the army of Egypt is literally going to supernaturally be thrown down to hell. <coughs> the army in uh, <coughs> Iran, <coughs> Elam, thrown down to hell. They're going to be thrown down in the country that they are located. That's why in hell, in other words, you're looking at a region underneath the country where the army is literally laying because it's been cast down. Egypt, Elam, Iran, Turkey, whatever it is, the, neither region. Under that country, that's where that army is going to wind up at. Right, right, in the hell. So when YHVH, before Jeremiah 25, 30, talks about dealing with various <laughs> nations, the same terrorist nations who come against uh, Egypt, is he talking about this, Jeremiah 25, or is that his own local judgment? Depends on the prophecy. You'd well, have to look at each one. Take the Egyptian god, uh, Pharaoh, excuse me. Pharaoh is talking to his god, small g, YHVH is telling everybody, or telling the, the uh, uh, Israelis, <clears throat> he's going to wipe out all the Egyptian gods. Yeah. Does that invoke Jeremiah 25? No. Or is he dealing no, that's, with something else? That dealt with the Passover. Okay. And even there, it's not <clears throat> referring to uh, the same type of judgment that you have here. He says, against the gods, well, I <clears throat> bring judgments. Right. Basically, he's going to imprison them. Of course, in the neither regions, but it's very, it's local. Okay. It's only the the, the Egyptian guys. Right. Uh, and <clears throat> compare in comparison to this judgment, insignificant. Sure. So you're describing intensity now. Okay. Yes. Uh, unprecedented. Never experienced judgment mm -hmm. because it's the first time Elohim is speaking. In effect, of what Elohim speaks <coughs> is irrevocable, eternal, immutable. And so, what you're going to find out here, the daughters of the famous nations, they're all gearing up to go against Israel. Muslim nations, terrorist nations. When you see this beginning to formulate, you know, that the time of the great <coughs> judgment is imminent because what will happen is they will be preparing to initiate a combined under Egypt a combined assault against Israel out of each country the Lord is going to intervene he's going to speak a judgment and each army in that particular location is going to be cast down the hill we see the word here cast them down the judgment is going to open up the earth supernatural they're going to go down bodily right in uh <clears throat> quick time such time that it will be uh totally um surprising to them such as surprising that they lose their animosity they lose their anger and they go down terrified into the neither region right that's another effect of the same prophecy. So we see so far, <clears throat> the utterance affects the human race. It affects the armies of the terrorist nations. <clears throat> what else? Scripture indicates those who have been called from eternity and are faithful and wise in their calling will enter into and be surrounded by a new spiritual reality filled with purpose and understanding. Mm -hmm. Luke 21. You say 21. Luke 21. Okay. 36.
Watch ye therefore, <coughs> and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. How do you escape? <coughs> because you're not going to be affected by the judgments. You're going to be protected. Not only protected, you're going to be walking in a different reality exactly. than the reality that these people are experiencing. Are we already in that reality? No. <laughs> because so, the judgments haven't been spoken. So the reality that you're referring to becomes or manifests at the point the judgment is spoken out. Okay. And which is part of the reward. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> he speaks that reality into existence. Sure. Part of the judgments. Yes. Is, what is that reality called beside judgment? Is it is it is, it, is there a uh, we're ending the age of grace and we're stepping into what? <clears throat> the age of uh, law. Okay. The age of law. Law. Yes. Not the age of judgment. Well, the law is judgment. Okay. The law of sin and death. All right. There's a law of judgment. And but you're calling that the reality. For those under the judgment, it's a reality. Right. I thought he was asking you for those who are not under the judgment. Actually, as in a generalized perspective, oh, okay. perspective helping to get okay. what you just now <laughs> drug out of him. Right. No. <laughs> no. For those, the age of grace doesn't end. Because why, it why would happened? God end his grace for you? You're, you're on perpetually, eternally under his favor. Of course. So, since you've brought that up, the age of grace covers uh, Zephaniah 2, 2 and 3. Hid. I'm, I'm referring to that word, you shall be hid under his his, the his hid hand. is a continuous age of grace. Okay. But <laughs> since you said that the reality that covers those who are righteous at the point that the judgment is spoken out it sounds like it's something in addition to this edge. Well, it's an expansion. Okay. It's a matter of fact, you read, I was just getting ready to go into that scripture. Praise the Lord. Luke 17, 17 Remember Lot's wife, 32, 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Now the word preserve comes from a Greek term which <coughs> pronounced zugonid, Z-0-0-G-O-N-E-D, zugonid. It means give it life. Whoever loses his life will give it life. This is the reality that that person is going to experience in a greater and greater and greater way. Why? Because he's not embracing the reality of the judgment. He's letting his old life go with that. He's embracing The new life that he's been living, which is expanded. Okay, Brother Jones. Yes. So this day is going to happen. It might be tomorrow. Okay. No, it won't be. Because we're going to have. You see that? You'll see it approaching. Okay. Okay. So now, those of us who know what's happening, it's happening. We are immediately going to have work because the father has made a reality for us to preserve us it's going to be scary it's going to be um, how shall I say so indifferent we that have been preparing we will be given what it is that we are to go through this period of time everybody else around us sur surrounding us is in a panic mode what are we to do? Are we to try to go with like-minded, pres preserved Protarchus? Are we supposed to try to give explanation as to what's happening? But if you're under the judgment, you're going to go through judgment. So, you know, what is it that we could say? That's well, gonna we're going to cover that. You're entering into <clears throat> an expanded, for the first time, 
you guys are going to see life as it was designed to be lived. Mm. First time. So <clears throat> this sounds like the point at which miracles will be done greater than those which Jesus did when he walked the earth. Okay. You just spoke where we're going. Oh, praise the Lord. Okay. <clears throat> you notice <clears throat> what it says right after Luke 17, 33. I tell you, therefore, in that night there shall be two in one bed. One shall be taken, the other left, two in, and be grinding together, one taken. That He's talking about those walking in this new reality will experience <coughs> the being supernaturally <coughs> <coughs> preserved for the inheritance. You're walking in this life, you've given up the old, and you've embraced the new at the point in which the time for those to be gathered for their inheritance will take place uh, shortly. Shortly, okay. In other words, when that happens, <clears throat> there won't be any problem because there will be only those who are experiencing the newness okay. of life. So you could say in verses 34 and 35 where we see the word taken, we're talking about the new reality as well as the gathering. But they're one in the, the same The new group. reality leading to the, the gathering yes. because they're in the new reality. Right. But <clears throat> we want to address But does that mean that mm -hmm. the two in the bed for example one can't see the other? It means that one's not ready, the other is. But the one who's not ready can see the one who is ready. Oh, sure. Okay. You're going to be fellowshipping with people. Throughout that period of time. Yeah, okay. definitely. But they're going to see differences, surely. Certainly. Certainly. Um, you'll be living in two different realities, but you're going to be living in the same dimension, same dimension. of existence. Yes. You're going to be affected different ways. <clears throat> the person next to you is going to be in a state of torment, mm -hmm. doubt, all the rest of it. The reason he's with you is because you're giving him an understanding and assurance right. he didn't have. Which is what he's talking about. But he hasn't accepted it. Sure. So you're going to walk to that point in which the division takes place. You're gone. He's still here. So that's true to a small extent even now. Certainly. Yeah. Is the division taking place. So Brother Jones, when this happens, and we got people hanging around us because they know that we have we're literally in a different reality or we're pretending like we're in a different reality than they are what is it that we can tell them that's going to make anything any different for them well you can tell them is what they're open to hear <clears throat> it's not any different than it is now the thing of it is is brother jones if they're looking for hope i can't give that to them you can give it to them it's up to them to receive it turn to daniel 12th chapter <clears throat> Verse 10. It's no different than now. The truth doesn't change. The only thing changes is an individual's desire to accept it. Many shall be purified and made white. These are the Prototokos teachers and the uh, elders. <clears throat> and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. You, because you're in this reality, you're being given consistently purpose and understanding because of the spirit that's dominating this reality that you're open to and receiving all the benefits from the guy next to you isn't mm -hmm. he may be a brother but if he hasn't opened himself up if he's still holding on to that old life yes. he's number one he's in a different reality although you're both together you're experiencing one glory he's experiencing something totally different 
is going to maximize at the point in which you're taken and gone to your inheritance at the gathering. He's going to be left out. <coughs> That's where the X, Y axis crosses when the Lord returns <coughs> to give the faithful their reward. But let's go on. The one that's experiencing the new reality. Scripture teaches, what is he going to enter into? Scripture teaches the mysteries of the kingdom will be open to him to partake of and closed to all others. Matthew 13, 11 and 12. <clears throat> He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know <clears throat> the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, or the mysteries of the kingdom of the heavens, but to them it is not given. This is going to be expanded a hundredfold at this time. You're going to have a comprehension of the <clears throat> mysteries of the kingdom so that you can prepare the prototokis elders for what they need when they enter into the communities. Notice what he goes on to say. Why? For whosoever hath, you've laid your life down, you've gone away from that, you're embracing the new, so you have, what you're we're gonna receive is more and more and more and more what you're progressing into. Right. Whosoever hath to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that he had. The one that resists is. Notice what he goes on to say in verse 14. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, By hearing you shall hear and not understand, seeing you shall see and not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, their ears are dull of hearing, their eyes they have closed. The mind, the will to receive the new is not there. That's the only difference. They didn't want to know. They didn't want to receive. Now at this point, they're behind. They still don't want to know. They still don't want to receive. They're holding on to the old life, the old reality. The wise understand that that's an albatross around their neck. It's a chain on their ankles. They've ditched it. They're expecting now, because of the receptivity that they've already had, to receive new things. The mysteries that we see now that's so great, that's it's just a, a granule of what you're going to experience as you enter into sure. this new reality sure. on a greater and greater and greater and greater scale. <clears throat> Let's go on. <clears throat> Scripture teaches the saint will be given the knowledge and understanding of the Lord. John 14, verse 12. John 14, verse 12. <clears throat> Now, Jesus is talking about this whole chapter here deals with the future, the place that he's going, the preparation that he's going to make at that time. Verse 12, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do, and greater than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. It's going to be sealed or prepared. He's prepared, he's completed <clears throat> the ability of those who follow him <clears throat> to enter into the fullness of what they have been called to do. In that respect, <clears throat> you're going to see <clears throat> the works that he did, everybody on that level will do. Now, what are we talking about here? It's a couple of examples. 
Scripture teaches he will understand <clears throat> the, 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 the individual, the saint, Prototokos teacher, <clears throat> he will understand the way to multiply from scarcity. Matthew 14, 17 to 21. You're going to be leading others in areas where there's no provision. You got 10,000 people behind you, and you're in a region of bombed out, <coughs> deserted, uh, ramshackled, former uh, metropolis, now nothing. What do you do? <clears throat> Verse 17. You say, well, what do we have here? The same, same thing happened with Jesus. They said unto him, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, bring them hither to me. <clears throat> and he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, took the five loaves, the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, <clears throat> he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude they did all, all, all eat and were filled. And they took up of the fragments that remained 12 baskets full. You will do the same thing he did because it's going to be the same conditions. You're entering into this new reality of understanding, wisdom, and ability that he had. <clears throat> Scripture teaches... He will understand the mastery over the elements. All of this because of the indwelling spirit that's in you, just like what he did was from the indwelling spirit that was in him. Turn to Mark 4, verse And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and it was great calm. You're going to be able to do the same thing. You'll have mastery over the elements. When it's needful, you'll be in control. But let's go on. Scripture teaches. <coughs> He will be able to discern the great portents of the heavens. Luke 21, verse 11. A great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall it be from heaven. Remember what we said. It's in, um, I think it's either Zephaniah or Joel. When he speaks, he makes his pronouncement. Heaven's going to shake. It's not just a one-time <clears throat> thing. It's going to be continuous. Continuous earthquakes, continuous famines, Continuous pestilences, the signs in the skies are going to be terrifying to the human race because they won't understand. It will be understandable to the Prototokos saint because he will know through the spirit that's in him exactly why these things are happening, what they mean. <clears throat> Scripture teaches, like Jesus, he will be able to detect the hidden transit points of the earth. In other words, you won't look at the earth as a planet. You'll look at it as it is, a matrix, matrix. Just as Jesus looked at it. Luke 4, 
verse 28 to 30. Jesus goes back to his hometown, presents his credentials, and want to kill him. And they, and all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath. Rose up, thrust him out of the city, led him unto the brow of the hill whereupon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. The word went there comes from a Greek term which means walking through. So he was able to initiate a transit point in the midst of these people. They're surrounding him, pushing him to the brow of this hill to throw him out. He opens an opening in the matrix and just walks through the midst of them out the other side and goes way. You'll be able to do the same thing because you'll understand the true nature of what the earth is. And they're, they wind up scratching their heads, where did he go? Mm -hmm. Well, this is part of embracing this new reality, which you begin now, you're going to feel it. You're already feeling on the inside. It's just going to become greater and greater and greater until you reach a point where the things in the earth reality begin affected by the judgments. And when that happens, you will know and you will be open to affect many, many, many people. Not only Prototokas, there's going to be a lot of temporal Christians following you, seeking understanding as well. <coughs> 